Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We It's a time for us to reflect. It's a time for us to appreciate. It's a time for us to apprehend the high degree of the love of God for me and you. That made him to go through the pains and agony. He made him to go through the shame so that me and you will be delivered. So that we will not be a prey in the hand of Satan. So quickly, let's open our Bible to the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians 1, as I take our reading from verse 19 to 23. Colossians 1, 19 to 23, I read. It said, For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. It pleased the Father that in him, in Jesus Christ, shall all fullness dwell. 20. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether there be things in earth or things in heaven. 21. And you and me that we are sometimes alienated and enemies in our own mind. We are sometimes separated because of what? And we become enemies in our mind by wicked works. By wicked works. By our disobedience. By what? By the high level of sins that we committed that made us be alienated from Him. He said, Yet now hath He reconciled. Yet now hath He reconciled. 22. In the body of His flesh, through death. To present you holy, unbelievable, and unreprovable in his sight. 23. If ye continue in faith, if after washing us, if after the purification and sanctification, he said, if you continue in faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard, which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, where of our power and made a minister. Praise Pastor Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That God Almighty, through his precious blood, we do what? We wash away, we cleanse us, we sanctify us, and make us to be what? To be holy, unbelievable, and Reprovable. That is what his blood we do. But it can only be sustainable if we continue and be grounded. If we do not shift away, if tomorrow we do not see Holy Communion as being one of the most important events in our life. He said, if we continue in faith, grounded and settled, and what and be not moved away, we will continually remain at what holy and only before him. So by the time he comes, he will see us being cleansed. He will see us being pure. 
you see us being holy so that Allah, they can be able to do what we can allow us to be able to do what his kingdom within if we do not move away from our faith if we do not turn away if we do not return back to our vomit praise master jesus christ hallelujah you can now say that holy communion is not just a ritual we can now say that holy communion is not a religious exercise as many think because of what ignorance rather it is an important act of worship it is very important an act of worship which we christians which we believers the children of god which we engage as he god himself as jesus christ instructed us to do in recognition of the suffering and the death on our behalf on behalf of what mankind that is why the culture today is what it is a time of reflection for us to reflect on the sufferings on the pains on the agony on the shame that he went through because of you and because of me holy communion also is a time of what unalloyed commitment when we commune it's a renewal it's a renewal of covenant with him so it's a time of what unalloyed commitment to him it's a time of anointing it is also a time of spiritual refreshment and empowerment praise master jesus christ Yes. Hallelujah! So it is not a real exercise. It's a time to empower. It is a time for us to receive that what spiritual refreshment. It is a time for us to, to 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 renew our commitment to Him, because we believe that yes, He came to, to take away the weight of sin that you and me committed, which He was not part of. And in the book of Matthew twenty-six. Verse 28, which we normally read before the God commune, he said, For this is my blood of New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. A new testament. We are entering into a new, a new covenant with him. Mm. That is what, what we're about to drink. It is not about, about drink, an ordinary drink. It's about what drinking the precious and the sealed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for a new covenant. For a new covenant. So holy communion. As we can see, have, it's, what, it's a time, it's something that reminds us what was recorded in the book of Isaiah concerning Jesus Christ. What was recorded concerning him because of what he, what, what he went through to be able to deliver me and you from death. Mm -hmm. It's a time for us what to remember. So that's why the Bible says in the book of that Isaiah 53, if we look from verse 5 to 8, Isaiah 53, Five to eight, a time of what? A time of reflection, a time to remember what has passed for me and you. From verse five, he said, "But he was wounded for our own transgressions." Bible did not say that he was wounded because of his own transgression. He said he was wounded for our own transgressions. He was bruised for our own iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Everything that he has, he poured it out because of him, because of me. And he went to verse 6 and said, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every man to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Verse 7 He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet, in the midst of that affliction, in the midst of that oppression, the Bible says, yet he opened not his mouth. Not that he was enjoying it, but he was taking the pains so that he can save me and be able to save you. Mm. What a gracious father we have. Mm. He said he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep. Before her shearers is done, so he opened not his mouth. Somebody who has the power to call down fire from heaven. Mm. Somebody who can, when he speaks, the Bible says, every name will surely bow. But at that point in time, he opened not his mouth. Verse 8, he said he was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was at that time cut off out of the land of the living. For the translation of my people, 
was he is stricken. All these things happened to him because he wants to deliver us from eternal damnation because of our sins. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. So as we come together yeah. to eat, to drink, it is always good for us what? to recall, to refresh our memory. It's so it is significant for us to remind ourselves the essence of what we are doing. Otherwise, our participation may become what? Meaningless. It may become displeasing to God. And if it is that, it becomes detrimental to our souls. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To refresh this. So that what we are doing, the act of what we are doing, will not be displeasing to God. So we do it in a way that you will truly, yes, no, my children are still in appreciation, are still recognizing what I did for them. So it is the most sacred event in our life as what? As Christians. The most sacred event in our life as Christians. Now in the book of John, John chapter 6, John 6, if you take a look from verse 51, Jesus Christ by himself declared he did not send anyone. There is no intermediary. He was saying unequivocally because he is what our redeemer, our creator. He said, I am what the living bread. There is no contest. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is not ordinary bread. It is my flesh which I will give for the life of the world. See what Satan is making many people to miss out. A gift, a free gift that even money cannot buy. Yeah, people do not recognize the importance because Satan has succeeded in blindfolding them. Satan has succeeded in hijacking their memory. For them to be to chase shadow instead of the object. Verse 52. He said the Jews, we still have the Jews of today, who struck among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Many people are still making that argument today to the detriment of their soul. 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Peter, even though you are living, but you are a dead corpse, if you don't have the trace of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ in you. 54. Whoso eateth my flesh, whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. What a promise. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of Almighty God remain forever. Whosoever, have you know what? In the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. He said, On that last day, if I see that trace, if you do not contaminate or pollute it, definitely I will raise you up on the last day. 55. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 56. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. In other ways, what we're about to do. We are ushering Jesus Christ into our life. So we are not a career by the time his blood and body enters into us. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mm. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by my Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. If the earth lies right because of him. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The word of Jesus Christ is A and Amen. If we see from that, where we just read from that 51, there are some, there are some, some, some silent things that we're supposed to extract from where we just read. He said, I am the living what? I am the living bread. I am the living bread. Which interprets to me that Jesus Christ is that living nourishment from God 
He is what? He is that living nourishment from God sent to us on earth by his father in heaven. He is that spiritual nourishment? He said, I am the living bread sent to his children. And further, if you take a, 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 a talking sense of when you say, he said, this other than I eat, whosoever, whosoever, in other ways, we are, as we have gathered this hour, we have the opportunity, we have the privilege to do what? To eat, to consume, and to take in the bread of Christ into our lives. In other words, by the time we eat, we are no longer alone. Christ dwelleth in us. Whosoever that eat it, another word is said forever. We know that the word of God is what? A and Amen. God is not an imposter. Whatsoever he said, he will do. And whatsoever he do, he said, he said forever. He will live forever. That was also, it signifies that the bread, which is the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, is soul for, is a soul food. It's what is a soul food for eternity. Whosoever that eateth it, will not hunger, will not die. In other words, it is a soul food for eternity. We are going to ask God Almighty. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty, as I have the privilege, my Lord, my God, to eat the living bread. Ah, Lord Jesus, to eat the living bread, which is you, my Lord and my Father. Anything that seems dead in my life, in my spiritual life, in my physical life, because you are the two living bread, my Lord, my Father, let the resurrection power take over my life this hour in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open my eyes and God this hour. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, Baba, Father, Lord, as I cry unto your holy name, Baba, as I come to dine at your table, Baba, Father, Lord, Baba, light everything, no, Lord, Baba, that is dead in me, my children, Baba, let it begin to resurrect, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, let everything that is dead in me, my children, Baba, let it begin to resurrect, oh God. Let it rest on right in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, as I cry out to your holy name, Baba. Father, Lord, let everything that is dead in me, Baba. Everything that is dead in my children, Baba. As I drink your blood, oh God, Baba. Father, let them rest on right, oh God, Baba. Let it begin to rest on right, oh God, Baba. Let everything, oh God, Baba, that is dead in me, Baba. Father, Lord, as I drink your blood and eat your broken body, Baba. Let them begin to rest for rest, oh God. Let them rest for rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are praying. Amen. Amen. What does to pray again? He say, and you and me, that we are sometimes alienated and enemies in our mind because of what we get wrong. Yet now hath he reconciled. Colossians 1 21. We're going to ask God. Say, Father, King of all glory, as you are blood, irrespective of my sinful nature, you have the mercy, you have, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, the, the mercy to forgive me, and you'll be able to reconcile me back to you, Lord Jesus. Only faith that is in me, but that will come before me after this communion to separate me from you again. Father, Lord, I receive the power to overcome them in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, Father, Lord, as I cry unto your holy name, Baba, anything that wants to separate me from you, Baba, Father, Lord, Baba, let that thing, Baba, be consumed by fire, Baba, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, any power that wants to take me back to my vomit, God, let that power be consumed by fire, Baba. Father, please come and draw me closer to you, Baba. Father, draw me nearer to you, Baba. Father, draw me closer, Baba. Draw me nearer. Anything that wants to separate me, Baba, from you, Baba. Any power, Baba. Father, let them be consumed by fire, Baba. Let your glory to die, Baba. Let your glory to die, Baba. Let your glory to die, Baba. Let your Amen. Amen. Said in the body of his flesh, through them, who present us holy, unbelievable, and all the problem in sight. We're going to ask God. Mm -hmm. yeah, Father, please, in your mercy, Lord Jesus, as I come this hour, Father Lord, I exchange my weakness with your strength. Father mm -hmm. Lord, as I drink your precious blood and eat your broken body, Father mm -hmm. Lord, give me the grace to remain holy, unbelievable, mm -hmm. 
and all the problems before you as you come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, and my God, Baba, Father, Lord, as I come to your presence, oh God, Baba, Father, give me that grace, oh God, Baba, to remain holy, Baba, to make holiness part of my life, sir. in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, Father, help me to make holiness part of my life, sir. Baba, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, I want to be holy, Baba, I want to be righteous, oh God, Father, Give me that grace to live a holy life, oh God, Baba. Father, make my conversation holy. Make everything in me holy, Baba. Father, make me holy, Baba. Father, make me holy, Baba. Father, make everything in me holy. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, my Father and my God, Baba, make me holy. Make my God, oh God, Baba, make me holy. Amen. Amen. I want us to take this one as a declaration. Don't forget today, I think it's the 5th of May. The month is running. Don't forget at the beginning of this month, it was declared a month of uncontestable victory. I don't know those things that you want to have victory over. But I live here and the month is going. I'm going to ask God, there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray as a declaration. Say, Father, you know yourself, I know myself. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, as I drink your precious blood, I eat your broken body. Father, Lord, those areas that I want to have victory over in my life, those things that I want to see me have victory over them, I love my Father, Lord Jesus. Any power that is resisting mm -hmm. victory over those things, but a lot, I pick your blood against them as I did today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, Baba, Father, please, I want to know you, Baba, the more, Baba. Father, Lord, I want to know you more and more, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, Peter said that I know you and know the resurrection of your power, Baba. Father, Lord, I want to know you more and more, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, I want to live an holy life, oh God. A righteous life, a perfect life, oh God. Father, help me, Baba. Help me, Baba. Any power, Baba, that is contending with all these things in my life, oh God. Father, Lord, let your blood, Baba. I raise up your blood, Baba. I gave those power, Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, Baba. Father, please let your blood, Baba, put me forth, my children. Baba, let your blood punch me, environment of God, Baba. Father, let your blood, Baba, punch everything in me, Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, and my God, Baba. I want to know you, my mother, Baba. I want to make that to you, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, I want to know your secret, Baba. Father, you made Abraham your friend, oh God, Baba. Father, Baba, make me your friend, oh God, Baba. Father, Jesus Christ, Christ. 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 Amen. 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 Are you out there? Amen. You know you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. You are not yet born again. The word of God cannot be changed for anyone. John 3 3 say, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So for you not to miss out from this privilege and opportunity that God Almighty, because the God never keeps his, keep his children in, the, in darkness. So for you to appreciate and begin to reflect what he passed because of you, because of me. So you are better not allow this opportunity to pass you by. So if you are there, you want to give your life unto him, please repeat this short prayer of confession and mercy after me, not by compulsion. Just say, Lord Jesus, having had the privilege to be in your presence this hour, because I know it's not by accident that I am here. You have brought me, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, for me to appreciate, for me to understand the extent of the love that you have for me. Through your word, you have made me to realize and to reflect on what you went through, the shame, the agony, the pains, because of me, in order to save my soul from eternal damnation. Lord Jesus, I therefore humbly 
ask you to please come into my life and be my Lord and personal Savior. Come and reign in my life. In your infinite mercy, let my name that has been recorded in the book of the death, Father Lord, let your mercy take it away and transfer it to the book of life. Lord Jesus, as you come into my life, oh Lord Jesus, through your broken body and precious blood, Lord, I receive the grace not to wander away again from your sight. Mm -hmm. Lord, any pain mm -hmm. or sorrow I have caused you in my ignorance, Father Lord, I ask for mercy in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Lord, oh Lord Jesus, with your righteous hand, that I will not sleep out of your hand again. Mm -hmm. Keep me in the bosom of your hand in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Have you said that prayer? Beloved, I want to tell you that missing ways that heaven is rejoicing over the declaration that you have made to the shame of Satan. And we in this mountain will rejoice with you and we pray together that God Almighty will uphold us. Amen. As we drink with him, as we commune, and as we show our fresh and unalloyed commitment to him, no power will ever make us to turn back and become his enemy tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. March along with him, put our hands on the plow and never to turn back. We we'll receive it today through his blood and Amen. his body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Struggling within our life, be it spiritual or physical, any kind of any behavior that we want to drop, and they keep on recording as a decimal in our life. As we take this holy communion in faith and sincerity of mind, we we'll receive the power to overcome those things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, ancient of days, we thank you Amen. for all Amen. your children, my Lord, my Father, Father, Lord, that have had your word, have had your calling, and they've given their life unto you, Lord Jesus. Father, you have mercy, oh Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God. Father, Lord, let your name, as your promise, be taken away from the book of death, and in Amen. the name of ancient of days, Lord Jesus, through your holy communion, my Lord, my Father, my Lord, give them the grace, my Lord, my Father, the power, oh Lord Jesus, your vomit, my Lord, my Father, and we, oh Lord Jesus, that are brought out of that gate to your marvelous light. Father, Lord, ancient of death, my Lord, my Father, may you continually uphold us, my Lord, my Father. Amen. As, my Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus, we will fall by the wayside. Father, Lord, as we run this race, we will not, we will not tire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ, holy name, we have all prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So please, could the uh, song leader give us uh, a minute or two of uh, worship as we get our table set. Amen. 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 The blood of Shepherd of a soul, Shepherd of a soul. 